Sanbonani, Sanbonani, Sanbonani. I already introduced but now the fun is about to start. First and foremost, Sabantabala, Sanbonani. Are you guys good? I see the youth at the back. The youth, ni right? That's the energy we love, we love, we love. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and we welcome to the Facebook Live of MTV Sugar Down South. It's going to be a good time. We're about to have some fun. And standing in front of you today is the female king, Uzza McKing McClure, a proud product of Richards Bay. We are going to have a good time. We're going to have a fantastic time. So I, have ev I hope everybody's ready because the show is about to begin. So everybody there at home that you are live on Facebook, make sure that you start sending around that promo code, that link, make sure that everybody is on the show. So MTV Sugar Peer Ed is brought to you by Richards Bay Minerals, the Department of Health, and the MTV Staying Alive Foundation. A warm welcome to everybody here on set who's here in studio with us and everybody at home. Start commenting, start liking, like me, like start me here, everything there. So before you guys are confused, let's show you a quick link and a quick video. What goes down in MTV Sugar Down South? It's time to begin an incredible journey. Femi, <laughs> welcome to Josie. Africa's hottest show is back. Femi! Only. The, the last time I checked you in Lagos. A journey of discovery. There's everything up. It gets lit on a Friday. To a city that never sleeps. Fun! You can have fun here. I've got to release some tension now and then. MTV Sugar is back. Have you even seen my work? Hot, 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 hot. How would you even know? Running after him like a lovesick puppy. MTV Sugar, down south. Don't mess with me. You're in Joburg now. The drama on the screen. Gosh, it really goes down at MTV Sugar, down south. So, Babu Makai, everybody at home and everybody here at studio, please just let us know what do you guys think about the quick clip that we showed because the drama, it's like sizzling there. So, if you're at home, if you're on Facebook, please drop a comment. Let's communicate. Who knows, I might be reading out one of your comments or posts right here live on studio. So, like I said, we are out here at the MTV Sugar Peer Education conversation that we are about to have today. So, in case you're wondering, what exactly is going on? Oh, we are about to have a ball. For the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on a journey. And guess who we have in studio? The one and only, the heart and the soul and the voice of Uritas Bay. We've got Mr. Music in the house, ladies and gentlemen. You hear it, you're hearing the noise live inside the studio. I already know it's going to say everything. Is she phone at home? Because who doesn't love Mr. Music? But we have something very important that we'd love to address today. Unfortunately, I wish I could have the braveness, the courage, the nerve, and charisma, basically the intelligence to do this keynote address. But we have a wise gentleman who will be taking us through the journey. What are we here for today? Ladies and gentlemen, from the Richards Bay Minerals, the Managing Director, Mr. Werner Davenhays. Please, a round of applause. Thank you, Zama. I feel a bit under pressure. <laughs> because I don't have your energy. <laughs> and I said to our team, please, you need to warn me about the, the people that's coming in front of me because now I don't look that good. If I follow all your energy, and uh, I mean, you and Mr. Music are clearly very well known around here. 
So uh, I was just looking at that video and they said, you know, we shouldn't mess with them. They're from Joburg, so don't mess with us. <laughs> We're from the Bay. <laughs> so very well, warm welcome to everyone. So just to be clear, you, you're not going to, this is not Zama Mail. This is Werner. So thank you everyone for being with us here in person and for those who've joined us online as well uh, for the live streaming event. It's amazing how COVID-19 has changed the way we are doing things nowadays. Half the people is in the room and the other 90%, the, the maths is a bit suspect there, but the other 90% is elsewhere. We can now have people from all over the country and even in other countries and other continents join us at the same time at the same place for an event like this. But I do want to uh, acknowledge a few people before I start, uh, especially around our partners and, and our dignitaries that's here with us today. First of all, uh, Ms. Lope, the District Director for the Department of Health here in KZN, and uh, other representatives from her department as well. Uh, Yvonne Diogo from MTV. Yvonne, welcome representatives from the local government and the traditional councils and the youth forums. Thank you very much for being here. And of course, our special guests, who this is all about, our peer educators who will be responsible for rolling out this very special program and who will be running this initiative across all our four communities. Of course, also welcome to my colleagues here from RBM to the media, and uh, I don't think I've missed anybody, but if I've missed anybody, uh, if you are here, you're also welcome, you're already inside. I see today not so much as a launch, but more as a celebration. And that's why I really appreciated the way you started things, Amma. It's that celebratory mood you've created here with us. But why am I saying that? So firstly, our engagement with MTV Staying Alive foundation on this program started quite a while back already but like most things you know this was also impacted by COVID that happened and the logistics had to be reviewed and adjusted uh, a few times before we can get to a point where we can move forward and we finally here today after pretty much a year long even longer journey to get here Secondly, why I say it's a celebration, it's also an opportunity where the public and the private work together, what they call a public-private partnership, a PPP. So it's us, it's private, the Department of Health is there, they public, MTV is there, also a, a private setup, and yet we are all working together here on a, on a very special project. Of course, the Department of Health is the custodian at the end of the day of, of health uh, in, and wellness within our country. And we are really, really looking forward for our role that we can play in helping you being effective and successful in that as well. So equally, we are ex uh, excited to partner with MTV Staying Alive Foundation using their groundbreaking and proven methodology to undertake this seminal task of sharing critical and oft, very often life-altering information with our, with our young people. Thirdly, why I say it's a celebration, it's a celebration of hope because this is what your program is all about. Mistake from my side, this is what our program together is all about. Hope for the positive impact this program will have in the lives of our local youth Hope for the opportunities this initiative will deliver because everything is creating some opportunities somewhere. And I hope that through this program we are providing the proper tools to help our youth better navigate the challenges they are facing on a daily basis. And the hope that many of our young people will use and experience this program to help them define a path to a brighter future changing helplessness to motivated and determined and uh, forward-looking individuals. 
hope that through this program we are building a future generation that strives not only to better themselves, but all the, also the lives of those close to them. You all know that us, RBM, our business is mining. However, that comes with a significantly big responsibility to make a real and lasting impact in the communities wherein, in we, wherein we operate. And just to be clear, we take this responsibility very seriously. What better way to drive sustainability than by investing in our youth, which is the future employees of RBM, which is the future leaders of our communities and our country, but also, you know, um, the sort of the hope of the future. Our investment in this project, which is a holistic approach to ensuring the health and wellness of our young people, is a further indication of RBM's commitment to imp empowering our youth to take control of their own lives. We are no strangers to projects that focuses on the youth, of course. In fact, as recently as the end of last year, we announced our youth de development program, which launched with two elements, a tutoring program aimed at helping high school learners perform better at what they know as the STEM subjects, which of course you know as maths and science mainly, and a small venture creation program, which is aimed at developing and supporting our youth entrepreneurs from our local communities, which is also very important. Beyond that, we have several other initiatives that start much earlier in the cycle of development, from providing support to local schools, to career guidance, and availing bursaries to those who wish to study at tertiary institutions. We also have apprenticeships, learnerships, and mentorships to skills, to skills development in especially portable skills. So it's skills that you can take with you, not only that's helpful to RBM, but uh, elsewhere as well. And additionally, we also run a well-established established, uh, graduate program that welcomes a, a big group of new graduates every year. It's one of uh, the most exciting times of the year for me when I get to meet the new graduates that comes in. Uh, it's, it's sort of the, the hope of the future. It's the, it's all the expectation, it's all the potential that then stands there in front of you. But anyway, let me not get carried away on that. As a caring and engaged corporate citizen, we are committed to ensuring that young people in our mining communities have the tools and the support to reach their goals and realize their potential. And we are equally focused on finding new and innovative ways to achieve this vision. This is also underpinned by our Imbokoro program that helps facilitate entry of young women into mining. I'm proud to say that over the years, the Imbokoro program has provided tremendous talent from our local communities. Another one of my really favorite programs we have at RBM. So hence, our partnership with MTV Stay Alive Foundation and the launch of the MTV Sugar program in our local community was an obvious step for us. And I close. To the peer educators who are here today, and I've had the fortune of already meeting some of you, we wish you all the best for this program and strength for the task that lies ahead, because I'm sure it's not going to be easy. Know this, you have a caring partner in the form of RBM as well, to help you succeed in your program this year. As you help others grow, may this experience also be an important part of your own growth and personal development journey, which, will be, which we will be very proud of being part of. So with that, thank you very much. So I'm all back to you. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Ray. You got this. He killed it, didn't he? he did. But don't worry, don't you fret. We'll have five days and make sure you've got this talk. Thank you so much. But just in case you actually want to find out more, because as a youth,
from Richards Bay. We definitely know all the wonderful work that RBM has been doing for our community. And just in case, and not even just in case, because I know for a fact you definitely want to know more about the MPV Sugar Pier Education Project. Please take a look. HIV, sexual violence, abortion, teenage pregnancy. These are not issues in and of themselves. These are all about people. The most significant factor that's affecting young people's lives and risk is this deep level of a lack of self-worth. If you don't care about yourself, then how do you really walk through the world and say, I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to hold myself like a diamond and not let anyone take away my shine. So it's really not easy being a young person nowadays. We hope that through this intervention of the NTV Sugar Peer Education Program, we can give young people the necessary support. The NTV Sugar Peer Education Program is an outreach program that is centered around a multi-award winning television drama series, MTV Sugar. So we basically educate a group of peer educators to take the multimedia content and use it to educate young people so that they can make informed and better decisions to protect their own bodies. We have to go to what we call the heart of the matter, which is the heart of young people, so that they can take care of themselves as if they're the most important person in the world. And so the MTV Sugar program provides the necessary space for young people to have these conversations in a safe space with reliable and accurate information. So it's really, really an honor to be working in partnership with Richards Bay Minerals um, as the funder and sponsor of this program, you know, through the stipends that are being paid, through the trainers that are training and developing the young people, and then also throughout the implementation by funding the mentorship. We are very excited about the prospect of this partnership and what it can do for the young people. As RBM, we're investing about 3.7 million rand towards this program. We believe this project is going to make an immense contribution in the community. We think this is going to give meaning to their lives. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that, Yvonne. That's, that's really cool. Flavor, 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 flavor. Thank you so much again to the RPM and Mr. Vanna. That was really informative. I hope you guys also enjoyed that video. Right about now on stage, I'd like to please warmly and kindly invite the district PHC manager, Ochabu Kunene, to please come on stage and let us have a conversation. Please, a warm round of applause for Kunene. Before you continue, I actually have a few questions for you. I'm putting you on your spot right now, so I hope you're ready. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, also please a reminder, please have your phones on silent in order not to disrupt the program. So, someone else? Do you have a phone? Yeah, please, please, please. Can you just check quickly? Yeah, so, yeah, Nyaguza, Nyaguza, Nyaguza. Can you, ladies, gentlemen, can you hear Jabu? Nyangizu, Sanbon. Yeah, that's what you want, Jabu. Let's, let's feed off this, let's feed off this. So, Jabu, please, thank you. You're from the Department of Health. We're very happy to have you here today. And have a few questions, like I said. How will the communities benefit from this youth program? Yo, for us, it's really a, an exciting day today. Mm. And like we, the, the manager has said, we are celebrating. The communities for us are our priority. Mm. You know, the healthcare, it's mm. a basic need mm. and also it's a right. Mm. So with us, uh, our resources have been overstretched. Remember we had COVID-19 pandemic yeah. and we've been working hard, but we are not neglecting the, our communities. To ensure that uh, we reach all the communities, we really had to go down to the world level so that we, we, we make sure that they receive the healthcare, the basic need and the rights. So for this program for us, it's going to bring a lot, especially for our youth and our communities. We've got bad enough diseases, which is HIV and it's still leading in TB. So for this really program, it's going to assist us in terms of teenage pregnancies, 
Right now, we've got the challenges of the young girls delivering in our facilities. Mm. I can tell you from April to December this year, we had 147 young girls oh. aged mm. from 10 to 19 years delivering in our facilities. Mm. And when I can tell you that uh, HIV is still a challenge for us, mm. from that period, which is April to December, we had 248 uh, uh, youth in these eight facilities where uh, MTV Sugar will be uh, uh, implemented, mm. but around the whole district we've got 1,428 young youth between the ages of 15 to 24 being infected with HIV. So the program like this, especially our youth, mm. we've mentioned it's our, for us it's our young doctors, it's nurses, the pharmacists, we still need them. Mm. Like I'm telling you, our resources are stretched, are overstretched. Mm. So if they are going to be empowered, the youth, we are hoping that our communities will be receiving the health information of which is their right to have that health information. Mm -hmm. And also we are believing that our youth, as we empower them, they will be able to empower other people within their communities. They've got energy, they can still educate some in their families. Mm. So we are helping to have, our vision as Department of Health is to have a, a well a, a, a communities that are well without any sickness. Mm. So we are hoping if we can educate them, they will be able to educate others within the community. Thus we are eliminating the diseases that are, are really our challenge within the community. We want a healthy community. That's all we are striving for as Department of Health. Wow, Sister, but I think everyone here as well and everybody at home is actually shocked at the numbers. So I hear you talking about the communities that you speak of. Can you please just highlight at which clinics may the communities attend the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program? Okay, we've got two sub-districts, which is Umtlatuze and Umfolozi. Mm -hmm. For Umtlatuze, we've got uh, five facilities, which is Isboniso, Kandisa, Mkondogayise, Duze, and Merenzi. Then for Umfolozi, we've got uh, three uh, clinics, which is Ntlabane, Sokulu, and Umbonambi. Okay. okay, now let's talk, Taylor. Let's yes. Talk. Uh, this literally sounds like it. I'm jealous. I, I'm, like, I'm really interested in all the beautiful work. Listen, a clock of yes, How do yes. I join? Is there a joining fee? Like what? No. 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 Uh, both MTV Sugar and RPM has provided the peer educators. The peer educators will be working in the community where they will be mobilizing the youth, which is age uh, 18 to 24. Oh. Once they, you've got a health problem, you need to come our facility, in our health facilities. Our facilities are free of charge. Oh. And we all, some, they work for 24 hours, seven days, for some, because of our limited resources, they work Monday to Friday, but it's free of charge. Hi again. You guys heard it here in studio and everybody at home. Free of charge. Mahala. Ha, ha, ha. You all know we love free things, but this is free for a good cause. Thank you so much, Sis Chabu. Please, a round of applause as we go off. So, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, everybody who's at home, yeah, I got you guys. It's a song. It's a song, isn't it? It's a cred, right? But everybody at home, don't be left out. If you guys have any questions and you want to feel, feel free to ask anything. Drop a post, drop a comment, drop a fire emoji. Have some love. Show us some love. And don't forget to share, share, share. Let's just educate everybody. So right about now, we'll speak with some of the young people actually bringing this program forward from the MTV Sugar Peer Education to our communities. But before I bring them on stage, please, let's take a look at this clip.
round of applause, round of applause. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right about now, we are about to call on two MTV Sugar peer educators to tell us more about this experience because it really seems interesting and how they actually got on board this program. So a warm welcome to the country director of the MTV Staying Alive Foundation, Umam Yvonne, and MTV Sugar peer educators. I'm sure they are here as well, Cedric and Amanda. Cedric and Amanda. Please come on and join me here at my beautiful, humble abode. A round of applause as they come on, ladies and gentlemen. You guys look beautiful. You look youthful. This is the energy. You guys look like me. Like, you know? <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Uh, firstly, Yvonne, I'll start with you. Why would a young person want to attend the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program? So, um, I'm going to go back to when I was young, yeah. right? I was a teenager once, and we all were in the room at some point. And it's very interesting. It's a very um, peculiar time of our life. We have many questions. Our bodies are changing. We start developing feelings, mm. you know, uh, possibly to whomever we may be sexually attracted to. Um, there's issues of um, that biological development, but then there's also the emotional side that is changing. Mm. And on top of that, you've got homework, you've got chores at home, your parents are demanding, your friends are demanding, so there's a lot of pressure. And so the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program is a safe space where, as a young person, you can find a peer educator whom you can talk to freely. And that peer educator is actually trained to support you both emotionally as well as give you the necessary information mm. in a way that you understand. Mm. We are the HIV capital of the world, and we are also the rape capital of the world. And so we need our 15, 16, 17, 18, you know, our young people need to be equipped with information and tools and resources to be able to actually protect themselves. Mm. So um, that's exactly why a young person should attend the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program. Thank you so much for that. So what does MTV Staying Alive Foundation actually aim to achieve with this program? So what is very, very important uh, before we can tackle all of these challenges within our communities and even in our country is, you know, it starts with us. We mm. need to look within and we need to recognize any personal traumas that we are dealing with. And so the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program provides that support. You know, there's a buzzword um, lately, which is mental health. Yeah. And there's a, there's a greater consciousness around that. So even in terms of, um, you know, mental health support, um, we want to see young people really, really thriving in their communities and being able to, because they are healthy and they're taking the necessary services that are offered through uh, Department of Health, mm. they are able to realize their dreams. So the stats that I mentioned um, or the trend that I mentioned earlier on in terms of GBV, your HIV, um, and even you know the speaker from Department of Health mentioned even um, unplanned and early pregnancy. We want to see that trend actually go on a decline. And those are the main outcomes. But more than anything, being um, a representative of the MTV brand, we want to see young people really, really shine and celebrate their youth and enjoy that youth and create wonderful memories. And you can only really do that once you, you are well supported uh, from a health perspective. Thank you so much. That was very informational. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps right now. But for you, Ron, you're not here alone on this beautiful state of mind. We have two young people here that look like busy bodies. Yeah, Sanborn. Can you guys just quickly introduce yourself? Thank you so much, Amanda. No, okay, lo Cedric Gubani Usura Sukun. Okay, Mushwasa Sukulu. Cedric, tell me, 
<laughs> You've got Sukuni in the house. Thank you for being with us here today. So you have been trained to actually use the MTV Sugar C TV series in supporting the youth by educating them on various topics, which is true. Please let us know, which one do you enjoy the most? Okay, I'll, firstly, I would like to um, thank the opportunity to, to speak under um, this topic. Uh, I, I, the topic that I, I love mostly, uh, gender-based violence. Mm. Um, this character, Bambi is orange, so orange, Bam Chacha and Angela are passing Ayo. So, Yena, um, okay. So, if a gay Abazal Baku, Uma Ubabake, Yam Chacha would say, okay. So, Umawake, Yena, a Yawam Gay was okay. So, Nasim Palatin, Umganwake, UQ. As time goes on, eventually, in the Bonnet series, Le M9, um, Zobon Gutsi, UQ, Umganwake. So I'm saying I use a shy, a shy little good thing. We catch a bien. Look, of which is wrong. If we are now outside the good thing, we be or lesbian, it's fine. So go when we get silicon. So it's an idea. Because then, what is the good thing? A child about the back of good thing. Okay. We go to a back of a gum girl. Go to a jazz good thing. No, me. I'm true to myself. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. It's very riveting to hear Mutwe Sli, Sosasem Ngane, actually be proud to talk about the topic that a lot of people actually shy against. So, Amanda, I also have a question for you. Kwe MTV Shuka, ne? Who's your favorite character and why? By the way, we have favorite characters. So I find, actually, I also love Reggie. Yeah. Reggie is a young boy who finds out that he's gay. And then he eventually opens up to people who are close to him but they do not accept him. Oh. So it's it's, it, it, sh it comes to show that even though we, come to, we become true to ourselves and tell the people close to us about what kind of life we live, sometimes they do not be accepting. Okay. So it, it will be very hard for us, like you do not know who to turn to, but eventually Reggie stays true to himself and he goes for what he wants. So he eventually moves out of home he gets a partner and he lives with that partner. Amen. So I love Reggie for his braveness. And eventually, in the end, his father becomes soft and he accepts him as he is because he can see that Reggie is not backing up from being gay. He's just gay. So it's, it's, it's who he is. I, and I told Reggie, we are proper guys. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know what they're talking about, make sure to check out MTV Sugar also on YouTube so that you are updated with everything that is happening on. Cedric, back to you, Sanderson. Has the MTV Sugar peer education program benefited you personally in any way? Yeah, MTV Sugar benefited me a lot. I found it really good. I made a bit true to self and the non-negative thoughts as we go and no good. Um, we charge. We made we charge we. We made we we win the straight. Um, no good. We went to the bank. 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 But seeing now, we have done a lot of work. When we have to find out in, find out in, look at rights. We have simply like to find out where to go. Maybe we pull some money on the line. Find out we pull some money. No, so good. See, we learn the land. We just find out seeing now. We babble not in now. Just stay, stay true to yourself. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. That is a very nice answer. And to you, Master Balkul, if any young person is invited to attend the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program, why do you think? they should accept the invitation and actually attend and be committed to it. Aibo, abeza, ziawa la pa. Zakala, zali. Aibo, ziawa. Okay, MTV Sugar is a place where you can get accurate information, professional help, and also everything that you want to know that's going on in the life. Like, because our parents, sometimes they, they do not open up to us about some things. Because you can never tell your parent that you're sexually active. Yeah. That's for us, the yeah. kids, that is not easy. So for us, we are there as MTV Sugar facilitators to talk to them, to be their friend. Most of the time we are friends because we have to connect with them because you cannot tell your parent that you're sexually active. So we give them accurate information as to what to do in order to protect themselves from STIs and STDs. 
Thank you so much. So, who are at home, it is so inspiring to see young children, it's not even children, it's youth, because these people are quite young, but they're so informed and they're so inspired to go out into the communities and lay a helping hand. So I have a question for you, Lapuene Osekaya. I hope you guys answer me. So it's easy to answer me. I told you we guys are communicating. Just drop a comment and just call it. Will you be attending the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program in your community? And if you do not find out where the program is, don't worry, don't fret. We will make sure to have all the information on the MTV Sugar page. Right about now, everybody in the studio, a round of applause to our new educators. Thank you so much. Thank you for visiting me. Mi casa is su casa. Hope to see you again. So fans that follow MTV Sugar down south and on Facebook, uh, we're, I'm going to make sure that you guys don't want to move and you guys don't want to be left behind. Because this year, 2022, there's some exciting things, riveting things. You saw Iskalo with its always jam action packed. So if you have a fear of missing out, don't let the FOMO hit you because we have weekly videos of what's about to go down at Sugar. So for all the purposes of staying informed and healthy to fulfill our goals and aspirations. So let us not only be captivated by the drama, look at this, ooh, ah, but let us also learn. Ladies and gentlemen, please visit your local clinics. Kwasokulu, Kwambunambi, Etumbe, Nawamkwanazi to join the MTV Sugar Peer Education Program from February and Orlando. And if you missed that, like I said, make sure to check out the page, MTV Sugar, for more information. Yo, what a program. I am very edu I'm educated today. If I could, are we gonna have like a graduation ceremony today? <laughs> like I feel like something needs to be, hap be happening. I need like a certificate because that is so much information that we were garnished with today. We like to take the time, personally for myself, you guys have been an amazing crowd. Uh, everybody at home, please don't forget, the conversation does not end today. Go out there to your community. Ask, what can you do to make a change? Because what RBM is doing, the Department of Health and MTV Staying Alive Foundation, what they're doing is amazing, and you too can help out. So thank you to all our guests, our speakers, our peer educators we had here on stage, and a special thank you to Wena, 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 Lapane, Ekaya, Amaspenda, Mama Jata, for being with us here today and actually enjoying this live. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Says ya kala gemaj. Say kala rompela gemaj. Says ya lila gemaj. We got yo. I cannot say enough. I cannot go on enough about this young chap. Ubu yang ami. I taught him everything that he knows. <laughs> Like, I was there, I said he must go to idols. Yes, a round of applause for me. <laughs> uh, please, don't cancel me on social media for that comment. My friends, I missed the music. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody at home, please make sure right now, Kwangogu, drop all those heart emojis. I was putting my likes, I was putting my heart emojis for the one and only Mr. Music. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it is always feeling very humble, like to stand in the presence of my people that I grew up with. And I'm being a little known, I'm Pagati or Bonambi or Sokulu. And all the sponsors that are here. Uh, guys, you are amazing. Trust me. Uh, this is a beautiful day. Can I have people who are going to say we're going to enjoy? Maybe can I, can I see the hands up? People who are saying we are going to enjoy right now. Are you okay though? Huh? 
but you are not giving me the reason. But I'm expecting you to move to, you know, something. Guys, um, thank you so much for giving me the chance uh, to stand here. Especially, I would love to thank you, RBM, Richards Bay Minerals, and the sponsor. This is a very big program, MTV Sugar Down South, uh, a program that we all need to take it seriously because, um, guys, I can, I can witness. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a young boy. Um, I can see some more people, you know, facing troubles, um, having problems, like mental health problems a lot. But um, I'm here to say do not um, do something that is wrong. We are here for you. They are here for you. They are launching it so that you're going to get help. I just flew from Johannesburg to get here to help you too. So thank you so much. I'm going to give you some music. Um, some music, some music. Huh? Did you watch the show? But uh, I don't know if you watched the show, guys. Did you? Idols on my season. Did you? Can you recommend a song from there, the one that you love? I can perform it right now. <laughs> All right, please give me Ringo. Do you know Ringo? Ringo, Ringo Matlingo is a musician. I'm going to sing his song right now. I'm pretty sure you know this one. Eh? Sing with me. Okay, if they're ready, they will go with me. If you know it, sing with me. Let's go. Come on, say. Suga. Uyandi. Sita. Begela. Hi, man. Shula Alboni Uyanti Paza Misa Yo Sisi Mazan Salom Dwana Lord Yima Puti Ayo Adifundu Klala Na Wemba Yima Iswila Ke Ok, I see some of them there Yima Iswila Ke 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 Yima Iswila and the catali. Come on, say. If only when I Mamela It is your Yako Neami Sibeta Kanye Sandile Yo Sala Kuchalo Goba I have a special song for you. You know this one? It's going to be a third one. Please give me your love by Azana. Do you know the song? Azana, Azana. Guys, this is, I'm, I'm trying to give you a reason why when, when you are very young, you need to enjoy being so young. Because chances of you being a kid, they don't come again. You know? So enjoy being yourself. Enjoy this time as you are falling under a youth. Please give me Azana. It says your love. If you know it, then sing with me. You know it. Can I have a volume, my brother? Do you know it? Can you sing it with me, yeah? Let's go. Sing it, Chahile. 
Ugu titi nas pende si bonane. You know it. Angengeng seng pile. Kapan lego guto lo tando guwe. It is injan. Let's go. This is his way. Now go to my baby. Is it big and cool? Everybody say lie. And I want die, 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 die. Your love is blind, 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 blind. And I want die, 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 die. Your love is blind, 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 blind. Everybody say yes, but say, he has he has he come on, say, see me, me. say, he's on Sanena. Everybody say love. And I want die, die, die. Your love is blind, 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 blind. And I want die, 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 die. Your love is blind, blind. Yes, my favorite part. Sing it. Let's go. I say. Stuff, man, guys. I'm giving you stuff. <laughs> this is the last song, and it's an amazing song. And I'm expecting you to jump like it's nobody's business. Please give me Stimela Samsa Sezola. How? Yeah, hey, this is me. Let me know when you're chatting. Sazo, yeah, as I hey, 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 Asam, what? Ay, 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 ay. Also, what's up, man? Yeah, hey. Ay, man. Also, Asam. Bamboo party, na bamboo party, na bamboo party. What's the dance then? Hey. Wang bang pa wang man na ne. Wang bang pe le duze. Wang kung fu se koli mama. Eh, so la. Ay. Come on, baby, I got some food, baby. Hey, mama. Hey, bro. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let me just jump on the black and dark. Some play that some, some play that some, some play that two, 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 some. Hey. So chica, man, you're in the mood. Oh, hey, mama. Hey, bro. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Bring it to welcome to over, baby. Whoa, west of some Samala. It's under no move, what's up, baby? Yo, I go. Stimela Samsa Sensola. I ho, yo, yo. I go. I ho, yo. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey. Hey, go. Hey, go. Ay. I'm in mode. Hey! 
Come on, come on. Please restart the song. Let's do it again. Ay, 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 ay. What's up? Hi, bo. Ay, 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 ay. And yes, you're ahead of it. In your head. Who's it? Who's it? Ace. I saw them. Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? In your head. Ay, bo. Hi, bo. Hi, bo. Ace. I saw them. I saw them. I saw them. What's up? What's to to some Guys, I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. DJ, take it away. <laughs> 